ABC 10 News begins right now with breaking news. Breaking decision 2016 news right off the top. Results are in for primaries here in Rhode Island. And the big story of the night, Bernie Sanders beats Hillary Clinton in the Democratic primary. She wins the other four states, including Connecticut. And on the Republican side, it was a big night in Rhode Island for Donald Trump. He won Rhode Island and the other states that voted tonight. Of course, it's not just Rhode Island. Five states in total went to the polls around the Northeast today. That includes many of you watching us in Connecticut. And we have Team 10 coverage right now with our crews out at primary watch parties across Rhode Island. Welcome to a special Decision 2016 alert edition of the night team. I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik. What a night. It has been a great night. Let's start right now with the results in Rhode Island. Here are the results we have in so far. With 100% reporting in Rhode Island, Bernie Sanders with 55% of the vote, Hillary Clinton with 43%, about 1.4% were uncommitted. On the GOP side, Donald Trump with nearly 64% of the Rhode Island vote. John Kasich with 24%. Now, he did not win any state tonight, although he did play second in a few, and Ted Cruz with about 10%. And the story of the night, underdog Bernie Sanders beats Hillary Clinton, and we've heard from Sanders tonight. That's right. He just released a statement that came into our newsroom tonight where he was proud to win in Rhode Island and said, well, independence had a big say in the outcome. Earlier, he spoke to his supporters who said, tackle the hard questions. So we as a people have got to ask some very hard questions and then have the guts to take on some very powerful people. And now our decision 2016 alert coverage begins live Team 10 coverage. Ecstatic Bernie Sanders supporters gathering tonight in Providence. That's right, the night team's Michelle San Miguel is live at the Biltmore Hotel. Michelle, they must be pretty happy there. Patrice and Dan supporters here at the Biltmore Hotel, as you mentioned, are ecstatic. That's because Bernie Sanders looked like the underdog going into the primary. Hillary Clinton has done well in Rhode Island before, but tonight the message was loud and clear. A lot of voters are feeling the burn. Cheers break out in the Biltmore Hotel as Bernie Sanders wins Rhode Island. I'm ecstatic about Rhode Island. It's absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Supporters knew they had their work cut out for them, but they say tonight's win proves voters are tired of politics as usual. Joe Cayazzo, Sanders' political director in Rhode Island, says the fact that unaffiliated voters were allowed to vote in the primary helped Sanders win the race. This is the coalition that you need to build in order to be in order to be a successful candidate in the general. I think Bernie has done incredible. I think there's a tremendous amount of energy in his campaign. Rhode Islanders are feeling the burn this year, even though many supported Hillary Clinton in the past. I think that Rhode Island's been so hurt with the economy that people are just so fed up that they want a, a really radical change. And Sanders supporters tell me they hope the state's nine super delegates will reconsider voting for Hillary Clinton since tonight voters sent out a different message. Reporting live in Providence, Michelle San Miguel, NBC 10 News, Night Team.